Yeah, according to those documents, the king crab was being smuggled out of the Pacific Northwest so it could be sold in places like Florida. When law enforcement in Snohomish County became aware, they quickly realized it was not a simple theft case. According to investigators, it was a sophisticated seafood scheme with a Florida man allegedly stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of king crab. This was not a one time thing. This was an ongoing conspiracy that involved multi states and multiple, multiple jurisdictions and a lot of money. Robert Hammer with HSI says David Subill posed as multiple people claiming to represent Safeway grocery stores and emails where he placed purchase orders with the owner of a San Francisco seafood distributor. The owner, who had his product at this cold storage facility in Stanwood, authorized the release of two shipments of king crab in January, valued at more than $700,000. Both the distributor in San Francisco and a, a business here in Washington in Stanwood um, discovered that they were being defrauded, essentially, that they were getting orders for seafood and they would try to call to verify certain portions of the transaction and none of the phone numbers are working. They realized that the website was fraudulent. Law enforcement says the fake organization kept placing real orders. We got alerted that another shipment was going out. And so when they came to pick it up this time, we actually used sham, uh, not real seafood, but fake seafood, uh, and a lot of ice to make it look like it was legitimate shipment with a tracking device. Investigators followed that shipment to Florida and Sue Bill, who had been allegedly selling stolen seafood to other businesses. The boxes full of fake seafood and the tracking device were found dumped in Fort Lauderdale. Mr. Subo, once he figured out that the shipment was no good, uh, immediately tried to flee to Columbia. He says Subo booked a flight he was never able to get on because federal agents arrested him in Miami. Now, Sue Bill is facing two counts of interstate transportation of stolen property. I did reach out to his attorney today, and I was told he has no comment about the case at this time. Live tonight in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.